with a doctor's note as a customer. I tried getting the RSV vaccine and failed several times. I eventually got it, but it took lots of time and effort. Maria Snell leads the doctoral nursing program at Maryville University in St. Louis. So we've had some great developments actually with the RSV vaccine. It's just recently been FDA approved for maternal administration. Recommended between 32 and 36 weeks in pregnancy by both the CDC and the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. And it's shown to be highly effective, right? It's yes, it's been incredibly effective. Um, it's prevented 57% of hospitalizations uh, are for RSV in those children five and under. RSV stands for respiratory synctal virus, a leading cause of hospitalization among infants. The idea of the vaccine in pregnancy is to pass on antibodies. But I discovered actually getting the vaccine was a series of obstacles. I think that's devastating. It's devastating for the patients and, and our community. The vaccine is so new, many doctor's offices don't carry it yet. At around eight Walgreens locations, I was told they would give me the vial of the vaccine, but I would have to figure out how to transport it safely and get it administered. Another pharmacist at a CVS told me they're only administering the RSV vaccine to people over age 60. Spokespeople at Walgreens and CVS have not responded to my seven emails over the past week asking about their policies. What's the impact of lack of accessibility on pregnant people? So creating barriers like that um, are unfortunate um, and will significantly impact people's ability to be vaccinated in these high risk groups. A spokesperson with the Missouri Pharmacy Association told me the policy of giving a patient a vial to have them take it somewhere else is risky. In an email, he told me, I would be extremely hesitant to do or recommend this. He said temperature variations during transport could make the vaccine less effective. In the end, I got the RSV vaccine from an independent pharmacy. They don't have a big you know, executive board that they have to answer to to make these decisions. The nonprofit Pharmacists United for Truth and Transparency believes other factors at chain store pharmacies could also play a role. That is probably because they are inundated with uh, COVID and flu right now. That their staffing is very short. RSV is probably on the back burner. People we interviewed tell the I team independent pharmacies may be able to react more quickly to public health recommendations. In clinical trials of the RSV vaccine in pregnancy, most reported very mild temporary side effects, if any. They include pain at the injection site and nausea. With RSV season coming up, Medical professionals are urging pregnant people to talk with their doctors and get the vaccine, but it may be harder than you'd expect. For the I-Team, Paula Vassan, Five on Your Side.